Hi guys, this is Maciej from DCX and I would like to show you one of the amazing properties of the dielectric engineered fluid which you used for the uh, immersion cooling system. Uh, one of the problems related to the immersion, uh, to the mining in general, is that those components, all those power supplies and all those uh, ASIC miners generate lot of, lots of heat. And that could be a problem, especially if you are trying to do kind of the industrial mining or scale-up mining at your home, because you are leaving the, uh, your home with the uh, uh, kind of, I will not say unsafe, but definitely a uh, very, very hot uh, system, which can basically uh, cause fire. So, uh, and it's sometimes uh, we see about, you know, even fire, which uh, even, even in the constantly monitored large operations of the, uh, of the mining systems. Now, uh, one of the amazing properties of the immersion cooling is that it gives you a silent mining, but it also gives you the fireproof, uh, uh, fireproofness built in into the immersion uh, fluid. So see uh, closely how um, how we uh, how we secure your miners uh, with the immersion cooling system. Uh, so we have some of our thermosafe dielectric, dielectric fluid here. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, uh, it's completely transfluent. It's a uh, it's a uh, kind of water uh, uh, water like uh, fluid with the viscosity of uh, uh, six something, but in the uh, four, uh, 40 uh, uh, Celsius or 50 uh, degrees Celsius of working uh, uh, temperature, if you're in your immersion cooling uh, system, then you have a, then uh, the viscosity goes lower up to, uh, up to four CST. So it's ki kind of a, uh, almost like water. Now, as you can see here, it's uh, uh, very nice to, to work with. It's a sort of very, very, very sophisticated engineered uh, synthetic oil. It's a very, very high grade oil, group four of base oils. And uh, since you work with the oils, you always need one of those. Right, that's, that's, uh, that will be your friend during the, you know, your operation of the immersion cooling system. But it's also nice, nice to touch it. Uh, it's uh, completely clear. And some of those oils are used in the, you know, different cosmetic industries. So uh, nothing, uh, nothing that, is, uh, that's, uh, that, that would harm you or be unpleasant. It uh, doesn't have any smell. It doesn't have any aroma. It's completely, you know, smellless. And as you can see, it's uh, uh, completely safe for your operation. It's also, what is most important, is dielectric. So it has over 60, actually it's 66 kilovolts of dielectric breakdown. So uh, comparing to the, to the op operation under, under normal uh, with the air uh, cooling, it uh, gives you lots of uh, protection. Now, uh, I will use that just, just blow tor that torch to simulate the heat. And some of the, you know, uh, people demonstrating it using some very, using lab coats or any other methods to make it more fancy, but we will not make it really fancy. The thing is, you cannot, you need to reach certain temperature of the whole immersion cooling system to be able to, to be able to reach the combustion point or fire point. So the fire point of that fluid is 100 and over 160 Celsius. It's a lot. You will never reach it. Reach it. I mean, you will need to use some, some artificial method of, of, uh, of getting that much heat into the system. Because your, your miners will basically stop working at the more or less 80 degrees Celsius. The thermal protection will be, uh, will be shutting them, them down. And simple, you are not able to reach that temperature in the, during the normal operation at all. And even if there will be any, you know, local burning, uh, or your miner will start to fail, the power connection will start to fail. That fluid will give you that, you that additional uh, safety for your system. 
As you can see here, I, will, uh, I can do it like this for, let's say, additional 10 minutes and it will not reach uh, the, the point of the, uh, uh, the flash point. And there are two points. One is uh, the flash point, uh, open cap flash point. We are using open enclosures, and which is over 160 Celsius. But the combustion point, so, so, so if, even before we reach combustion point, the fluid will start, start to disintegrate, to um, decomposite. Uh, so it's uh, it will never it will never you know uh, reach the point when it's flammable, flammable when it's starting to burn. So it's really uh, very nice uh, um, protection for your miners for your operation. That's one of the methods uh, and reasons why people are basically using all that uh, immersion cooling system and investing into that immersion cooling system. So uh, stay tuned for more information from from us. We'll show you how the immersion cooling system for your miners works. Cheers.